this way. Woo! Quick pass! Oh, 200 comes up in about two or three minutes. They got two What's up guys, we are back here at Motorcade to fetch the Bucky now. The seats have been fitted. I just parked the vehicle now, it feels pretty You tried them already. <laughs> yeah, I tried them already. <laughs> We're about to try them now, but we need to go shopping. Uh, we need to go sort out the car audio. And we, need we need the Bucky lowered. We need the Bucky lowered. <laughs> so we're going to go drive around today, run some errands, speak to some guys and see if we can sort out uh, this Bucky over the next couple of weeks. But check it out, I want to drive, bro. Now, Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, yeah, we have to. We have to. <laughs> okay, Rock, paper, scissors. On three, eh? One go. Okay, one okay, go. here we go. One, one two, two, three. three. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, cool, cool. I'm going to drive. Because you drove it the last time. I did. Anyways. I'll drive it back. Okay, now fair, 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 fair. That's a, that's a liquor deal. Okay, cool. Let's go. Is there central locking on this thing? No. Yes, these seats are... They fit liquor, bro, man. They look good in here. They look good in here, yeah. Recaro. Check the back here. Come check the back. This is exactly what we wanted. We wanted the seats to be visible through there. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Woo! It's hard, eh? Yeah. That back is rock hard. I it's wish I had a bucket like this for a daily drive. <laughs> I'd have so much fun. Yeah. No, but it is a fun bucky as a daily. It's surprisingly good as a daily. And I'll be honest with you, uh, the time that I spent to the bucky, the fuel consumption wasn't bad. Either. No, it's not. It's only when you do that. <laughs> like normal driving, these Lexus engines apparently don't use a lot of fuel. Yeah. I love this thing, Lucky. Ah, oh, man. But soon you're going to get to skip this thing whenever you want, bro. Yeah, but uh, get in the driver's seat on a Sunday afternoon, take a cheap way yeah, cruise I, the coast. I think, I think you should do it. Cape Town's so small that if somebody builds a car in Cape Town, the whole of Cape Town knows about it. Yeah, anyways. definitely. How's that force, bro? <laughs> You know what was one of my favorite things to do? What? Just pop the same nitro at the road, give it a rev. That's one of my favorite things to do. Just pop, give it a rev. Give it a rev. Yes. Everybody's gonna look my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we're not yeah. allowed to, because in transport mode now, so we're not allowed to trick it too hard. No wheel spin. No wheel spin, basically. 12 seconds later. They have a little finer detail now. Carpet, roof lining, all these side post panels that needs to, you know, needs to be matched up with the interior. So it's all that type of stuff, but now the major stuff. Yeah, uh, suspension and sound install. Sound install. So we already got a Sony deck in here. <laughs> we do have instruction to get a very decent deck though. But what's wrong with this one? No. Down the knob, the knob, only the knob is missing. Do you know what we call that in our day? There's what? a policy radio. <laughs> Radios that you used to pull out, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Literally called the pull out. Yeah. And you need to make sure your pull out game is strong really? for that thing. <laughs> ah. Window winders. Window winders. <laughs> well, how does it look on the road? I was telling my father the other day, going the automatic route was probably one of the best ideas Smartest we could have done. Smartest thing we could have done. Smartest thing we could have done. But who would have thought, like, 10 years ago, we would have made this conversion with manual. Yeah. You would have slept a BMW box or a 21R box. 21R. <laughs> On this thing. We're going to do the window winders next. 
Yeah. I'm excited for that. Bro. I don't I don't like winding up windows, bro. It's not 1989 and I'm not sitting in the back of a cortina. Aircon works. Does it? Yes. I need some aircon now. Aircon works. It's a huge plus. Yeah. Now we need electric windows. Now we need electric windows. We've got power steering. And the seats are super comfortable. The seats are very comfortable, I gotta say. Like this is one of the better places we could have spent money. Yeah. To be honest, because uh the Majat seats, and I mean, I've got a Majat seat in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> the Majat seats are, n- are nice enough, but it's not this. Yeah, no, no, this is... This is Ricardo's, bro. And you know, this is Ricardo's. The, the foam is not going to disappear no, anytime not disappear. soon. Really. But look, and this, it needs maintenance. We are aware that there's like uh, some padding that needs to be fixed. Yeah. But it's minor, minor, and that's if you're chasing perfection. I jump is like that. Whoops. Jesus, mate. <laughs> Yo. That guy's just like, man, I'm going through. Oh, why did you do that? I'm such an idiot, though. Mmm, check it. With a trailer. Like, if it was just a bucket, then I could understand. Yeah, but with a trailer. But with a trailer to do that, like. Nah, that's dumbass. expanded that's no load on it it's gonna sit somewhere here mm. right now weight of engine and everything on it the spring goes down so when you drive you're basically driving in that position and you go over a bump it drops down and it goes back up again you're doing that all the time but now when the guys lower it right what happens right we lowered the part of the the mark one by 60 moles let's say Right, now you can now start seeing already, there's less shaft. So what happens now you go over a bump. Now you start hearing, yeah, there, yeah, and it bottoms and out. Bottoms out, yeah. That's your, your, your bottom line. So this is obviously what I would now put in a Golf 7, let's say, right? The original one is about that length. You can see the difference in already yeah, what the yeah. original would be. So you are basically... But you've still got a lot of travel, and then of course this is your key component on the top. You have the dampening. 100% yes. Now you can actually change the fluid, the oil that flows inside the shock. You can make an, you can make the shock stiffer, or you turn it again. Right now your shock is softer. So it depends on what to say, what your application is. When when you, uh, uh, what is your end game of, of the bucket? Yeah. As a writer for Speed and Sound, and they basically said, here's a camera. You're now also a photographer. <laughs> and then we, this is one of the first shoots I did. Mm. We came to go meet you in Grassy Park and then yeah. we drove through. I didn't have a location. Access Park? Kenilworth no, Center. No, Kenilworth Center, yes. I didn't have a location, but I thought Kenilworth, somebody told me Kenilworth Center, they just parking built lot. the mm. new parking lot. The There's going to be no one there. And luckily the cloud cover was perfect mm. that day and the car just popped there. Mm. This is 2007. Yeah. I, I think it's April 2007. That was Joel's idea. Mm. Joel said, there's this car in Grassy Park that looks like... He, he still asked me, aren't you from Grassy Park? Said, yeah. There's this car in Grassy Park that looks like a Transformer. Mm. Next stop, back to Motorcade for tune and a run on the dyno. Plus, final inspection. We've done, obviously the engine's in, it's much lower, battery securely mounted, engine stands, hood scoop, new radiator, custom engine mounts, full service on the engine, unit chip on the engine? Or? Yes, there's just a change of feeling slightly. And then we've also sorted out the, the gearbox mapping. Yes, that's all done on the software side. All done on the software side, aircon works. <laughs> Very cold. Yeah, what else, what else is here that we can mention? Cold air intake obviously. Yes, and I've changed that slightly on the dyno as well, gained extra 2 kilowatt from it. Inside the wheel arch, I've changed it slightly. This air intake works the best setup as it is there. Run 
112 kilowatts and close to 400 Stuck, these engines, they started about 212 exactly, actually, and got up. Yeah, that's what the manufacturers claim. Yeah. But typically, a standard series engine derives here is 187, 185. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, so they generally make about 180 and we on 211 now. Yeah, average is 185. That's okay. how much we average here. Okay. The stock manifolds and everything else. Okay. And then what is, if the use it makes 185, what is the one using it? I'm just curious. Very close to the same, they normally 175, 178 there, but okay. the 3 uz has got more pull. Okay. Okay. And also the, the 3 uz has got, got more potential. Much more potential. This is not limited, so if you can change octane, add uh, octane booster or ethanol, or whatever the case is, you can get a lot more power from it. So the fuel will make a big difference. But, yeah. Because this is designed for Japan and they have much, much better fuel than we have. Uh -huh. yeah. This being import, our fuels, the amount of time we have to pull out of it to make them safe is you, know, you lose so much power. From yeah. Gearbox oil cooler. Um, I mean, what else has changed at the bottom here? And, I, and, and, you, can, and you can run your finger on the sump. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> you can run a lot, so if there would be any Not even oil sweat. No sweat, nothing. Nothing. So exhaust over here, I mean, mandrel bends you were mentioning. Look at this over here. I mean, this is just class work over here. So this is? 250 mil. 50s into 76. 76 yes. These are the seat mounts over here. That's great, yes. And the extra big plates to make sure it's strong and not going to pull out in the accident. Wow. Yeah, those are extra big plates, eh? Jeez. Yeah. Because we couldn't use the original braces, so we had to improvise. Check again, four, five. Yeah, that's my calculation of the ratio. So the ratio... <laughs> I'm not <that> <laughs> No, this, this, this diff is, we were talking about it. This diff is proper, eh? it works. Yeah, but we need to shorter this in this diff. I'm happy with this diff now, eh? Look for the, for the, for the uh, highway driving. Oh, it's no, it's a bit low actually for highway driving. I don't mind it. Just give it more sound out of it. But in any case, the bigger pipe size will also give it more volume. I like the current sound of the bucket. Yeah, it sounds really good. It sounds really good now. Yeah. It's, it's softer than what I initially wanted, but, but, but now but, it just works. But it sounds right. It sounds yeah, that's right, the yeah. thing. Like, I wouldn't want to change anything. It would be a pity now if, if it changes the characteristics of the sound completely. Yeah. Because yeah, so, yeah. it's resonating, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. So we try and make it as equal as possible to get the most crispier sound out of it. Hmm. Otherwise, like you get the uneven. Yeah. You'll notice in the front, everything is made symmetrical in the front on the exhaust as well. I can see that, yeah. Um, also, to make it sound nice. Wow. It is it's like spot on, eh? It is spot on, yes. It's designed yeah. that way. Sure. What other mods can we do on the car now if you want more power? Unfortunately, the exhaust, for cosmetic reasons, loses a bit of power. The split systems the, always lose power. The people on the comments are going to love this, because they tell us they don't like the exhaust. Okay, so I think the next stage in our research, I'm going to get more power. Just throw in a bottle of nitrous. Throw in a bottle of <laughs> That's the other option, eh? A booster bottle of nitrous. Mild shot is fine. We can't get too aggressive. It's 150. Enough. Single shot. <laughs> <laughs> I have made on this turbocharged this engine 700 newtons plus. So anything is possible, but then you have to start the theory of the engine. Now it was time for some details with Junaid and his team from Escort Motors. Hi, I'm Junaid Adams from Escort Motors Automotive Body Repairs. Junaid and his team were here to focus on the details. Everything from badges to lights to brakes, all the little details that'll make the bucky look a lot more impressive. We basically done the LED lighting kit to the headlights. We did the LED lighting kits to the park lights and then we done the LED spotlights. Brake calipers in high red on the drums as well. We do customizing, we do automotive panel beating, body repairs, spray painting. Yeah, we do what we do best. Mm -hmm. 